All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, we're in week two of uh, Velocity. Um, unfortunately, uh, Dylan is not with us tonight. Um, but I do have Pitts Pros Josh with us. How are you tonight, sir? Uh, I'm tired from work, but uh, <laughs> covering for Dylan again. That's what we do, brother. <laughs> so, you know, oh. got to make sure the wrestling stays alive. That's right. That's right. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Um, uh, Let's do it. Mandy Rose has brought in SmackDown's um, uh, Son so Sonya Deville uh, to be in her corner against Candice LeRae. Uh, Candice LeRae is, uh, in my opinion... Uh, known for being the power couple with Johnny Gargano. Um, it, are they both uh, equals, or do you think uh, she outshines Johnny, or the other way around? Uh, it's definitely Johnny Gargano outshining her, but, you know. I mean, he is Mr. Wrestling. I um. don't properly pertain to Johnny Gargano at all, so I don't really like him. No, I'm not a fan. Well, he does have a triple threat world title match uh, coming up on Velocity's pay-per-view. <laughs> but I did like his gear at... Uh, was the last in your house? Mm -hmm. It was Shawn Michaels inspired. I didn't. I did like that. That was that was pretty cool. Oh yeah. So 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 then you're 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 big into the inspired gear. Oh yeah, of course. When I see people do that, like when uh, like how uh, Kofi and Xavier was, they always do different types of gear. Yeah. Right now they're rocking different Power Ranger gear. Which yes, is sir. Pretty fucking awesome. And my. And might I say, the best era and the best ranger. The green and white ranger, mm -mm, top. Yeah, definitely. Top. For sure. Um, I do have to say, when Seth Rollins wore the, uh, what was the, uh, god damn it, he's from Game of Thrones, the, the Frost King or whatever. Yeah. When he wore that gear out, oh man, that shit was awesome. And then when Seth actually wore some uh, power, uh, what was it, the White Ranger gear, that yep. was dope as shit. Rhonda did it too. Yeah, she did. Oh, she wore Vegeta gear too. Yeah, sir. Because we, we all know that she's big into uh, the anime. Got to. But mm -hmm. yeah, that, that was dope. I, I did love when New Day came out in Gears of War fucking armor. That was so fucking amazing. I did love when they decided to uh, throw throw it back to the fallen uh, Brody Lee. That 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 was yeah. great gear as well. I loved when they did that too. That was really nice gear yeah. too. That was that was some nicely done gear. I'll tell you what. Now um, let's jump to Mandy Rose, who was in the ring right now. Um, what do you think of her career so far? Uh. A whole lot of ass showing. Oh, <laughs> there you go. More than anything. But honestly, uh, I did like the whole angle that was going on with Otis. That was really enjoyable. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I mean, I, she's been bounced around with Natty and Dana Brooke, and mm -hmm. I just don't like it. Like, no. I don't, I've never been a fan of Dana Brooke. I think she's just overhyped yep. entirely. Like, she's just. Oh, yeah. No. She never should have got Botox either. She looks like a balloon. <laughs> oh, Lou, beautiful. Beautiful by Candace. There you go. Where are you taking her? Where are you taking her? On the ropes, beautiful. Oh, is she going to fly? She's flying! No beautiful DDT. God damn. So then, let's... So since you said... Since you stated, in your opinion, Dana is 
overhyped. Um, who is the most, uh, you can go back to, uh, the past eras and all that, but, uh, between men and women, who's the most, um, underrated superstar you, you've ever seen in WWE? Oh, God. There is a lot of them, sir. That's... Um... Fuck. The list goes on and on. So uh, then, honestly... So then your top five. Let's say that. Your top five most underrated. My top five underrated or yes. underused? Let's do both. Underrated and overused. Nice, Mandy Rose. Alright, underrated... I'm gonna have to go... Uh, John Morrison. Okay. Definitely underrated because no one can truly see his potential in the WWE. Although he did show a little bit of it with that match versus Ricochet, which was fucking great. Which, by the way, before you continue, um, Mandy picked it up. Yeah, she did. She looked very good. She looked very good. She's been doing very good in um, Velocity. She's been on a win streak, if I'm not mistaken. I'll check the notes later, but yeah. Uh, same with um, Lorray. She's she, She's been very phenomenal. Um, but going back to what you were saying, people are saying that needs to be the next o, o, OMG move in 2K22. The spot where he jumps onto John Morrison and they fell between the barricade. Oh, for, yes. Yep. Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Uh, dude, it was just beautiful picture perfect like both of i know both of them from their past in lucha underground talked before that match and we're like we're gonna do this yeah <laughs> oh yeah um so it number two beautiful mm-hmm. no complaints on my end so dakota kai is up next against maria who for some reason has decided to so he is not employed with with velocity but we're not shy when it comes to bringing in your own support. So when she said she wanted uh, Mike within her corner, we didn't say no. We're going to let her run with it. And let's see if uh, that can help her out here tonight. <laughs> Mike Bennett, huh? Yep. So who's your number two spot for the underrated? Um... There you go, nice collar tie up. Honestly, I'm gonna go with Jackson Riker. Woo! Really? Because when he was in Impact, he was a force to be reckoned with. When he was Gunner, mm -hmm. like, dude, he was a fucking monster. And honestly, WWE is not properly using him. No, no. Definitely underrated, and I, I don't care for the whole controversy that happened with the whole bullshit that I don't care. Yeah. Um, but he's definitely underrated. Um, another one. Oh, number three. Underrated. Um. American Nillis. She's she's running the show right now. Snap. Nice. Beautiful. God, those pants are so shiny. Ooh. Very shiny. <laughs> Work in the midsection. Beautiful. Mike's got the body, bro. Like, he's got the body to be, like, at least a mid-card champion. Uh, another underrated uh, Zack Ryder. Yes, he's doing phenomenal work. It's great. Yep. Over, he's doing some stuff with GCW right now. It's pretty awesome. But, uh, another one. Uh, Fandango, for sure. Who was recently let go, unfortunately. Yeah, he was, but definitely underrated. Same with, uh, Breeze. Breeze... Breeze was let go, too. And Tyler Breeze, definitely yep. underrated. Like, he deserved more. Yep. The man could five, speak. Yeah. The man but, had... 
the man had mic skills, not the greatest mic skills, but he could carry himself. Yeah, and underused superstar. Yep. Um, back in the day, definitely Glacier. I'm drawing a blank on Glacier. Glacier definitely should have been used a hell of a lot more. He could have had a really, really nice long rivalry with Kane. Oh, okay. Um, nice, Mario. Beautiful. Let's see here. There. Down. <laughs> Beautiful. Sam. Fucking Sting with his actual WWE run. Sting? Sting. Oh, Dean. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. During that regular WWE run, that shit was just... No, they did not know what they were doing with him. No. Ooh, nice spinning heel kick. Fucking lately, Dolph Ziggler. Yes, yep. Underused as fuck. There you and go. Then... Work the back, work the back. Shit! Uh, AOP. Yes, yep. Like, Jesus Christ. I need to get used. Nice. Into the corner. Dakota Kai, Dakota Kai. What do you got? What are you doing? Ooh! Nice boo. Okay, beautiful. One. Two. Okay, two count, two count. So then, who was the most overrated champion of all time? Roman Reigns. I was just about to say, and why is it Roman Reigns? Oh my god, the list goes on and on. They said that John Cena had the five moves of doom. Nah, Roman Reigns is the five moves of doom. <laughs> If the five moves of doom was a person, it would be Roman Reigns. Mm -hmm. So then, what do you think of the new story that they are doing with him? Is that, uh... With with him in the uh, uh, tribal chief uh, pos position. I mean, it's probably his best work, but he's still overrated as yep. fuck as a champion. Like. No doubt about it. Everything about him is just overrated. I hope Edge takes the belt. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But now apparently Seth wants to get in on it. Dude, honestly, Seth has been working his ass off for six months straight. Like, he deserved that title run. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, could this be it? It is. Dakota Kai picks it up. Fucking love it. So what's so rumor has it that Brock has signed and Brock is returning, blah 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 blah. Let's say he is. Let's say he is. What are they gonna do with Paul with Brock and Roman? I have no idea, honestly. Either they're gonna just throw him to the wolves and just have him be Brock Lesnar. And then create this whole thing like, fuck you, Paul, and fuck you, Roman, and then take the belt and do his own thing. Or, I don't know. Early, Maybe he'll come back. Early 2000s Roman. Brock would run train on fucking Roman. Here he has, multiple times. But, um, up next is our uh, triple threat women's match. Uh, Bianca Belair, who's actually coming off... If I look at my notes correctly, if I look at my notes correctly, uh, yes, so Bianca is coming off of a, a vacant world title loss. Uh, Rhea Ripley is also coming off of a, uh, your, a international title loss. And Layla is coming off, I believe she also has a loss, not a title loss, 
But, uh, no, she's actually coming in with a win over Lorray last week. So, with uh, both Bianca and Ripley having so much pressure on their shoulders, does it match Layla's pressure of com coming in with the on only win between the three of these women? I mean, that momentum is there, so... Over the other two, it's, it's definitely a factor. And plus, not just o o over two women, but over Bianca Belair and Ripley, who are monstrously amazing talents in the ring. And yeah, and extremely powerful, too. And y'all know my stance on Rhea. Y'all, y'all know my stance on Ripley. Oh. Y'all know it! Woo! Like, she! Like, she! <laughs> uh, so, let's talk about the person with the momentum in this match. Layla. She was a part of the era, the Divas era, who got zero respect. No, she was... Before the Divas era, she was the uh, no love women's era, and then and then the Divas era was with Maurice, Eve, Torres, and all that. So yeah. with Layla being a part of that era, being thrown in a, a being thrown in a match with two women who are in the era of respect, where women are taken more seriously, their world title is, if not as respected as the men's world title, um, does that look at uh, the match for her differently? Um, not really. Okay. I mean, it's still a belt and a championship in the promotion, so it should be definitely recognized. Yes, yes. But... Back in the day, she did have that tag team with uh, Michelle McCool. Yeah, when they split the title in half and whatever. Yeah. 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 That was that was different, and that was pretty cool, in my opinion. That shit was funny as hell. <laughs> oh my god. Now, did Lay Cool happen before Impact's? Um, what was that women's trio team that they thought they were better than? everybody else in Impact. Uh, back in the day in TNA? Yes, yes. Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, the Beautiful People. Yes, so what came first? The Beautifuls or Lay Cool? I think it was Lay Cool, actually. Okay. I think. Or maybe the same time. But honestly, I watched The Beautiful People more because that shit was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Especially when Gail Kim got involved. Like, oh, God, my dude, she, God. Dude, she beat the shit out of them. <laughs> Gail Kim is a monster, bro. Oh, nice roll up. Small package. She really was. Woo, okay. Ah, shit. Oh, another one. Another one. Oh, my God. Jeez. Jeez. God. So then, an exchange of pins. <laughs> what was it about uh, the Beautifuls that made it more entertaining than like cool for you? Just as how many like things got involved. Like even Bully Ray got involved. Like oh my god, it was hilarious. It just kept getting better and better, and then it eventually just got bland as fuck. Yep, they always do. They always fucking do. But I tell you, it was it was some great entertainment. <laughs> I will say, though, it's really hard. When something is going on a roll for so fucking long, eventually it does get stale. But where do you... At what point do you put a stop to it? I mean... I'd have to say, like... Like when The Miz was working with Alex Riley. Yes. That shit just got old, and it, no one liked Alex Riley to begin with because he was just boring as fuck in the ring. Did he and have potential? Do you think? Do you think that he had potential? He 
had potential, but he didn't know what to do with himself. Oh, okay. He didn't know how to build a character or anything for himself, and it was pretty bad. Damn. But, like that, that got stale as fuck, and then The Miz just obviously started doing his own thing again. Yup. But, it, it, it got pretty old pretty quick. Go for the cover. Bianca! Nice! Yeah, I don't think we've gotten word from Dylan at all. Nope. Nope. It's just us, brother. Into the corner. Nice, Layla. Beautiful. Oh, she's going crazy. What are we going for here? Yeah, what are we doing? Avalanche. Oh, nice. Layla saw come shit. No. There you go. There God you go. Damn. There you go, Bianca. There you go, Bianca. Yeah, both these women need a fucking win here tonight. Ooh, nice. Indeed. Nice. One of them, at least. Yes. Pick her up. Oh, there you go. Use that fucking strength, Bianca. But then again, a win for Layla here tonight would skyrocket her to a possible world title match. Yeah, it, it definitely would. Oh, boy. One, two. Oh, there you go. There you go. Swinging neckbreaker. Oh, there you go. Oh, Ripley's still in the corner. Damn, Layla. Damn. Fuck, dude. The pay-per-view is just around the corner, too. So it's crunch time for for both men and women. Layla is uh, definitely on a damn roll. <laughs> Hell yeah. The only other dominant person is... Um, Eve Torres and um, I don't want to say Zaya Lee because she lost to Eve uh, the go home show to Genesis so yeah Layla you're looking looking good but um so <coughs> ooh, excuse me up next is our uh, our co-main events um, a person who I personally asked to be a part of the brand uh, is making his debut tonight. And that's Titus O'Neil taking on Humberto Carrillo. I feel Titus O'Neil has the potential for uh, Velocity is all about bringing in C-list superstars who should have been mid-card cha champion but didn't get that proper push. I feel with that being the life brand of Velocity, he has the potential to be our uh, our former our next world champion. Because, again, he was misused in the WWE. He wasn't given the proper... He wasn't given the proper push. And when they did push him, it was to be the inaugural 24-7 champion. And he lost it seconds later after winning it. Yeah, pretty much. So, with that in mind, with you being the mind of this business, um, do you think he should have done better or do you think he's at where he's supposed to be well I mean right now he is where he's supposed to be because I mean he's doing a whole bunch of other stuff like for the outside stuff of WWE okay 
like the Boys and Girls Club and like Make a Wish and everything. Like he's doing so much with that stuff, and I think he's the ambassador for it. To be honest. Okay. So I mean, he does a whole lot of like of the outside work. So he's actually a really good person in the WWE. Yes, yes, yes. There you go, kick out, beautiful. Titus, work that midsection. Come on, <coughs> debut match. You gotta, you gotta pull out a victory, bro. There you go. Woo! And then just throw him. Yes. Yes. Come on, cover. Oh, not even a one count. Got to get at least two, bro. Come on, we need it. Oh, Humberto. So nice, DDT. Um, Humberto, when he when he came on the scene, he not immediately, but somewhat immediately, he got a push. They wanted to do something with him, and you saw it. You saw they wanted to make him big in the business, but I don't know what happened. They 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 derailed it and everything when Andrade stepped. No, it, I think it was Garza or something. It was yeah, when they were removing. Yeah, when they were removing the mat from the outside and 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 DDTing Rey Mysterio and all them on it and. But um, yeah. uh, was Humberto? Uh, was he doing stuff in the lucha scene before the WWE? I didn't really watch him. Okay. Uh, the first time I've ever seen him was in the WWE. Okay. Um. But they definitely wanted to do something with him, and they just had no idea what to do. Yep. Work that arm. Snap it. Fuck. Oh, fucking snap it. Injure everybody, Titus. Nice. And then Dominic Mysterio started getting a push, and that was weird. Yeah, yeah. Now he's tag champion, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they're the tag champs, still. Oh, okay. Shit! I don't watch SmackDown. <laughs> Jamsaw doesn't watch Raw, so, so both of you are missing out on something. Well, I don't really watch WWE. Oh, damn. Anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. In it. I watch NXT still. Mm hmm. Titus. Avalanche. Yes, what are we going to look? Oh, Snake Eyes. Nice. Titus. Oh, no. Tossing him around. Nice. Yep. Titus is fucking strong. Get it. Yes. Pin. Oh, come on. Come on, resiliency. Fuck you. Almost had Yep. Fuck. Humberto's flying. Nice. Ooh, two count. Two count. Titus, good. I hope that's not a three count with just that. <laughs> That'd be pretty bad. Yep. Oh, rebound. What do we got? Yes! There you go. Titus working the neck. There you go. Pick him up. Shit! Humberto, fuck. He's working that arm. Oh, boy. Oh, shit! Oh, come on, Titus. Pay-per-views around the corner. I know it's your debut, but make a fucking impact. Yeah, he's working that arm. He's working that left arm of Titus. Oh, there, you, there you go. Big boot. Beautiful. Nice, nice, big boot. Yes! Back body drop. Beautiful. Oof. F 
Fuck me! Come on. Nice drop kick, nice drop kick. The other arm. Now, what are you doing? Fuck. Okay, one count. There you go. Yeah, that's that's right. You don't know what to do with Titus. That's right. That's right. Titus is a force to be fucking reckoned with. Mm. Titus! Nice drop kick. Nice drop kick. But nobody's will be better than Randy. No. <laughs> I mean, AJ has a really nice drop kick, too. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Titus with the reversal. Humberto. Another one? Shit. Come on, this is not looking good for Titus. You were running shit! Okay, switch him around. Again, no! Fuck! Oof. No! Shit. Wow. Okay. Damn, Humberto picks up the win. So, I forgot to ask you. So, Humberto was a part of that uh, match where uh, it was the four of them. Um, Cruz, Humberto, Gargano, and R Ricochet beat all four of the Undisputed Era to uh, get uh, title matches at the pay-per-view. Um... And I believe it was Dylan's idea for um, Humberto and Ricochet to go for the uh, uh, the tag titles. And uh, Apollo Crews and Gargano are going to be in a triple threat match against Elias for the world title. So since we just saw Humberto, um, do you think that him... And uh, Ricochet have a chance to be our first Velocity Tag Team Champions. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a good tag team. <laughs> and of course they're going to be going up against Rob Van Dam and Matt Riddle. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Hey, I didn't... Hey, listen. I, I just do the commentating, brother. I record it and do the commentating. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm here for um but Elias Apollo Cruz and Johnny Gargano who is coming out as world champion um honestly I don't know that's, that's triple threat match I, I always hate triple threat matches honestly okay the decision could be anybody, and it's just a horrible, horrible time for that champion. Yes. So then, if you're not going to make a prediction, who is Elias's biggest threat between Johnny Gargano and Apollo Crews? Uh, Honestly, probably Johnny Gargano. Okay. And speaking of our world champion coming out looking fucking strong, as always. And out comes... There she is. Looking good. As women's world champion. Eve Torres was... I believe Eve Torres was a part of the Divas movement back in the yeah, day. Yeah, she was a Divas champion. Yes, yes. Um, would she... If she was thrown in the shark tank that is known as the women's division today, would she stand a chance of becoming world champion? 
No. Damn. Fuck. Uh, that's not happening. <laughs> Fuck. Well, hopefully in velocity she can because um, even Eli Eve and Elias is going up against um, Keith Lee and women's intercontinental champion. No, women's inter sorry international champion Zia Lee, who won it uh, at uh, Genesis against Rhea Ripley. Oh yeah. Um, I will say the most impressive out of these four is Keith Lee, with the man's size and power and everything. The man can do a lot of shit. Yeah, he for his size, he does some incredible shit. Yes. I mean stuff that uh, Bam Bam would be proud of. Yep. Hell yeah. There you go, work the neck. There you go. A world champion. You got you gotta prove yourself tonight, man. You gotta prove yourself. His he's coming off of a feud with Mark Andrews. And um Mark was taking oh, yeah. him Mark was taking him to the bitter ends. They had a backstage feud, they had an in ring feud, and uh, they settled it in the ring for the vacant world title and Elias came out on top. There was no debate. And so, um, what was your stance on Mark Andrews? Um, I mean, I didn't really watch him that much. Okay. But, uh, he was in the Grizzled Young Bets, right? Yes. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, I watched a couple of their matches, but I wasn't, like, over the top watching him. Right. Oh, he was hand picked, hand picked by Dylan, so uh, we brought him in, and he was doing great for himself. And then, uh, after he lost the vacant world title, he went up against, um... He went up against uh, Ricochet, and Ricochet mopped the floor with him last week. So... I mean, oh, boy. Yeah, so Mark's not here tonight. Um, hopefully, he'll be in here uh, next week, but we'll see. Zia Lee. Nice crucifix. Oh, she went for that fucking right hand. Snapmare Eve working the back. There you go. Nice. Nice, come on. Tag, beautiful. Double team! Here we go. Both world champions working together. Oh, spear! Woo! Oh, Damn. Oh, yes, there you go. Oh, one count. Okay. Well, goddamn. Oh, goddamn. Ooh, Keith going for a pin of his own. No, Elias. Elias saying no. Ooh, Keith Lee with a flat. Beautiful. Ugh. Oh, shit, running knee. Elias in that knee. Yep. So, we know Jamsaw walks, walks, walks with Elias. Does Josh walk with Elias? Yeah, honestly, I do enjoy Elias' work. Woo, shit, okay. I mean, do you get vibes of Jeff Jarrett, or does he do it better? He definitely better. Wow. Jeff Jarrett was fucking obnoxious. Okay. Damn. 
I mean, is that a dream match, or would that be a squash for Elias? I don't really know. What are you thinking, Keith? Shit! Oh, -hoo -hoo. oh, Jesus. See, whenever I see the pounce like that, I always think of Marcus Corvan. Or, uh, bet or he was known better in Impact as Marty Brown or whatever. Oh yeah. Yep. When he would throw you against the ropes and use your rebound speed to launch you with a shoulder across the ring. Oof. Yeah, that shit was ridiculous. Oh yeah. There you go. Work the next Eve. You're world champion for a reason. Prove it. I believe... Yeah, so... Um, yeah, so Eve is coming fresh off of uh, that vacant world title win last week against Bianca. So, if Eve wants to prove that she's truly better than Bianca, she's going to get a win for her team here tonight. Tough opponent Zia Lee, though. So. Yeah, so if you could condense her career down, how would you describe Zia Lee? Well, right now she's doing her best work, honestly. Oh, really? Yeah. I've been watching her in NXT a lot lately. She's doing some good shit. Okay. Using it? Nice. What are you thinking, Eve? I'll let her get back in. No, what are you doing? Woo! Nice knee. Well, that wasn't a good idea on her and part. What are you doing? All right, Eve. Come on, be smart about this. Get that tag. Or just stomp a mud hole in her. I guess that too. Oh, yeah. Ooh, slap to the back of the head. Nice! Reversal DDT. Don't pander. Again, stomping a mud hole. Jeez. <laughs> Eve showing why she why she will be the dominant uh, world champion in Velocity. She wants the belt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, shit! Keith Lee. So, if Keith Lee perfectly pins Elias clean... That would mean that he could potentially get a world title match. This is very true. Oh, where are you taking him? Oh, nice. To the top. <laughs> <laughs> Make it drop. There you go. Damn. Okay. Oh, Elias. Okay, okay. Ooh, distracting the ref. Smart, Eve, smart. Nope. Oh, another reverse. Elias, take him out. There you go. Oh, for the roof. Yep. There you go. Yeah, so as 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 nice our world as our world champion, he needs to 
he needs to make a fucking statement uh, having his first match after winning that title here tonight. Because uh, he, he's cut. So our world champion Elias is coming off a loss from last week against men's European champion Walter. So mm, two losses in a row, it won't be great for your world title reign. Well, I mean, it, for anyone, it's hard to take on Walter. Right. <laughs> I mean, the man's a fucking beast. Yeah, he really is. Like, goddamn. He's fucking huge. His fucking chest strikes are just out of this world. Is he top five chops? Oh, hell yeah. Like, Jesus. He blights chests up. It's horrible. So what's the technique to a great chop? I don't really know how they get it down perfectly. I need to learn it, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> meet, Dylan in, meet Dylan right at, right at the bar and chest, and chest, chest chopped him. You got to. Got to <laughs> let him know. Got to let him know, brother. The chest chops our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Elias, what are you doing? Playing for the fences here. Oh, yeah. Nice, DDT. Elias, brother, this is the this is the moment. What's your reign going to look like? Oh, no, but he needs to get him back in the ring. We're at six. What are you doing? We're at seven. Move! We're at eight. Oh, what are you doing, Elias? Nope, there we go. There you go. That's our world champion. <laughs> oh, shit. Just keeps him out of the ring. What <laughs> That's a tactic, I guess. Oh shit! <laughs> but all right, That's guys. Funny. Um, that'll wrap it up for Velocity. Um, we have two weeks until the pay pay per view. Uh, things are still in the works. Me and Dylan have have to fix some stuff, get it straight. But uh, uh yeah, I just want to thank Josh for stepping in tonight. Um, and uh, both of us will see you guys tomorrow for Pitts Pro. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Peace. Mm -hmm.